सो so, तुम लग रहा हो कि भैया ये वीडियो के पहले ही तुमने डाला है कि डॉक्टर बीच के साथ हमारा इंटरव्यू है हम लोग वो देखने हैं आप भैया यहाँ के कर रहे हो तो मेरा छोटा सा थोड़ा सा सुन लो कि सबसे पहले जो लोग मुझे नहीं जानते तो माय नेम इज़ लोकेश राउत एंड आई एम फोर्थ ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट इन नोरिमबर्ग स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी रशिया सो जैसे तुमने देखा इस वीडियो का कि वी हैव हैविंग अ सेशन विथ डॉक्टर विच कुछ सवाल जवाब किए एंड वी वे लकी टू गेट इस टाइम तो सबसे पहले तो ही इज़ वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ऑफ गाइनी फैकल्टी इन इंडिया और वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट गाइनिकोलॉजिस्ट ही इज़ द एच ओ डी ऑफ अ वेरी बिग हॉस्पिटल इन डेली जिन लोगों को पता नहीं कि डॉक्टर विच कौन है सो प्री पैडर सब लोगों ने सुना होगा प्री पैडर मैरो सब दैट दिज आर ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म थ्रू विच मैनी डॉक्टर्स प्रिपेयर फॉर नीट पी जी और हम जैसे लोग फॉर एफ एम जी या नेक्स्ट एग्जाम के लिए सो प्री पैडर इज द ऐप इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ऐप जो बहुत ज़्यादा लोग यूज़ करते हैं प्री पैडर में ऑफ गाइनी जो सब्जेक्ट है क्योंकि मेडिकल में इंडियन मेडिकल में ऐसे उन्नीस सब्जेक्ट है वन ऑफ दोज इज ऑफ गाइनी ऑफ गाइनी के मेन टीचर डॉक्टर विज है तो बहुत सारे लाखों लोगों ने इनसे पढ़ा हुआ है एंड ही केम टू ओरबर्ग फॉर गिविंग एफ एम जी कोचिंग और एफ एम जी कोचिंग में कुछ क्लासेस मैंने भी की एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर लकी इनफ टू गेट सम ऑफ इस टाइम एक मैं रिक्वेस्ट है कि अगर किसी ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज़ कर दो मैं हमेशा से बोलता नहीं बट आज मैं बोल रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं बहुत सारे कंटेंट डालते जा रहा हूँ बट उसके हिसाब से अपने सब्सक्राइबर ग्रो नहीं हो रही सो प्लीज़ आप सब्सक्राइब कर दो एंड नाउ डेट ली आई टेक इट द वीडियो वंडरफुल वंडरफुल टॉकिंग टू ऑल यू स्टूडेंट्स एज एज ऑलवेज एंड इट्स ग्रेट दैट आई एम कनेक्टिंग विथ यू थ्रू दिस मीडियम and uh, basically because i get less time but then it's great that uh, we are able to do this and we are walking the streets of orenburg and uh, my good friend here decided that we should have a chat and let's see whatever i can help you with uh, what experience i have i'll be happy to help so the first question which we will start with is like uh, did he choose ofs gaini or it was like a coincidence ki aapko usme number acche aa gaye ya matlab aapne kya soch ke you decided to pursue that field ऑप्शन गाइनी एक ऐसा सब्जेक्ट है कि जब भी आप ऑप्शन गाइनी लोगे या आप आदमी हो या औरत हो आपसे हमेशा लोग बोलेंगे कि वाई गाइनी ही कुछ और क्यों नहीं लिया तो गाइनी एक ऐसा सब्जेक्ट है जिसमें आपको यू हैव टू बी नॉट जस्ट मेंटली टफ यू हैव टू बी फिजिकली टफ ऑल्स इट्स अ ब्रांच विच रिक्वायर्स यू टू बी अप एट ऑड आर्स इट्स अ ब्रांच विच मे रिक्वायर यू नॉट टू स्लीप फॉर टू डेज एट एट अ स्ट्रेच दे मेनी टाइम्स वेन आई एम नॉट सेल्फ फॉर थ्री डेज तो ये एक मेंटल ब्रांच के साथ साथ एक मेंटल टफनेस के साथ साथ एक ही फिजिकल ब्रांच है एंड आई ऑलवेज लाइक एन एक्टिव ब्रांच सो हैड ओनली टू चॉइस सर्जरी इन गाइनी वैन आई गॉर इन टू गाइनी आई वॉज द हैप्पीएस्ट एंड वैन आई गॉर इन टू गाइनी आई नेवर लुक बैक आई वॉन्ट टू डू स्पेशलाइजेशन इन इनफर्टिलिटी एंड एंडोस्कोपिक सर्जरीज एंड दैट्स वी डन आई वर्क एज अ आई एम नॉ दी हेयर ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट इन द हॉस्पिटल वेर आई एम वर्किंग आई डू अ लॉट ऑफ लैप्रोस्कोपिक वर्क आई डू अ लॉट ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी वर्क आई वी एफ वर्क and of course when i get time i'm the happiest in the labor room when i'm doing the forceps so it's a wonderful right because obs and gynae is that one subject which gives you the chance to work as a physician and also as a surgeon i don't think any other branch gives you that uh, that uh, flexibility because uh, when we're talking about uh, you know medical management of my patients i'm able to manage most of the things there are sometimes when we have to look up to the surgeons but then i can manage most of the problems so is that one branch which gives you the satisfaction of doing medical and surgical branches work at the same time so it's a wonderful branch so all i want you guys to understand is that uh, whichever branch you take medical branch or surgical branch every branch has its own grind but take ops and gynae only if you can uh, live up to the physical demands of this branch so it can be a guy it can be a girl but be ready for the tough grind and don't uh, become my post graduation and tell me one day sir i don't want to do obstetrics i i just want to do gynae work or i just want to do you know uh, fetal medicine work i mean you can specialize later in your life whatever but please do a lot of obstetrics i mean even today whenever i get a chance i get into the labor room and i'm the happiest doing a delivery so my work keeps me extremely busy in where i am but then the happiest time is is in the labor room so yeah. it's a wonderful branch go ahead and take it and any time you want an advice get back to me is some of those fields in which you are not like time bounded like aapko 8 se 9 jana hai aisa kuch nahi hai whenever you get a call time yeah whenever whenever you get a call that's why i said you have to have a attitude for uh, even in surgery even in uh, medicine if you are looking for a personal time all your life then these are the branches then you should be thinking twice any active clinical branch will keep you busy 
there are a lot of ways where you can find time for yourself and do your work also in all these branches but that take time by the time you settle into that it'll be 35 to 45 when you'll be able to settle into having time for yourself and able to do your clinical work also but it's going to take time so uh jaise we all know that next very soon it will be implemented in yes maybe in this coming december next is definitely going to happen when it's going to come is anybody's guess because uh, there have been a lot of deadlines which they have missed but they are very gung ho about it and uh, looking at it it may start in this december definitely next year is going to come in because uh, maybe because of the political uh, you know the environment mm-hmm. which we have right now maybe the elections may push it but see i am no politician and i am not uh, working in the ministry where i can guess so or i can tell you by any surety but then who knows it may be pushed by another 6 months to 1 year keeping in mind that there are some elections coming up but even if it is coming in december how the hell does it make any difference to anybody all of us are going to write the next exam it's going to be the same for everybody it's not that you're going to have uh, next exam only for the mci students the indians are going to write it the mci students are going to write it the people who are writing the pg enters are going to write it so it's not going to be for a set of individuals who are going to write the next so it's the same exam which everybody is going to write so if you're going to read uh, properly then you're going to crack the fmg exam the way it is now and you're going to crack it even if it is in the way of next i think this discussion has gone um, through the roof many times mm-hmm. but uh, this about time that you decided that uh, whichever way you have to write the exam you have to pass the exam to become doctors in india so if it is mci go ahead and pass this exam and if it is pg entrance go ahead and pass and get your bsc it doesn't make any difference and so obviously it will be more tougher than uh, i i will not you... say that i will not say that it's not tougher it's more standardized Mm-hmm. look if you see the if you asking me as a mci student let me tell you that for the last 3 uh, years whatever questions are coming in mci a lot of my pay, uh, my, my my students who are writing this uh, pg entrance exam they are not able to solve i can give you many examples because the questions in mci have become just as standardized just as the pg entrance yes you get a slightly more number of one liners but eventually a lot of clinical questions are there even in mci exam and if you've not read the last exam which was on uh, 20th of jan mm-hmm. 2023 it was all clinical anything but one liners and students who sat through classes and understood with us uh, with our clinical examples with my videos which i show of my own patients my own clinical cases which i present they've been able to correlate with the questions you know they saw the question and they related with what dr vid said about his one case or which video he showed so we try to make it as clinical as possible because things are not going to uh, be as easy for mci as it was earlier so it's good it's tough for everybody so wherever you are in the world i i feel that you should be reading very hard don't take this as a you know okay 6 uh, or 5 6 years we cool down and go back to india and for 3 months we read in a institute mm-hmm. in delhi or in uh, hyderabad and we are going to make it see if you're not reading now then you're going to take time if you put an effort which is uh, good enough right now you're going to pass the exam in the first attempt and if you're going to start only when you start writing those exams you may take a few more but uh, i wish all of you pass in the first attempt okay sir all as we already have uh, you know started the topic of uh, preparing for next and pre- that there's no difference is the same way for preparing for both the exams wherever i now go to take uh, classes for post graduation the mci students sitting and when i take mci classes some post graduate uh, entrance students will say sir we could not attend your class there they come in the mci class and they find it's the same teaching which we are doing so yes uh maybe i take a little bit longer in the mci classes maybe that's all i can say because sometimes the situations which we have to create so if i take a class for maybe uh, pg entrance students for 4 uh, to 5 days in mci students i take for 5 to 6 days that's the only difference because uh, you know you reading it all for the first time the way we want you to learn in india mm-hmm. so slightly longer class but the content is absolutely the same and so now as we were having a class with you so there were many 6th year students which were sitting in beside you know right? uh, in, in orimburg excellent bunch of students they had gone through my uh, videos which i had shown them on uh, youtube some of them had my app with the prep ladder and uh, i am the happiest when they are answering the 6th years are answering because they have already read and they are discussing mm-hmm. with me in the class and the fourth years and the fifth years they had a insight already into what is uh, coming up for them in the uh, exam next year so it was a wonderful experience taking uh, classes for students who were here in orenburg and uh, i'm sure at least uh, 15 20 students who were there in the class they are gung ho about gynecology they have done a good revision with me i'm i'm sure they're going to get at least 90% marks in gyne 36 out of 40 i can assure you that 
Also, uh, it's a question from their side that uh, they're asking that after six years or for the preparation, what kind of platform do you prefer uh, for a foreign medical graduate? For See, any? those who are living outside India, please buy one of the apps and uh, it can be uh, uh, my app, you know, it can be the app which I'm associated with, it can be Preplata, it can be any other app. But um, what I feel is that when you're here away from us, and you're doing this education, then you should know what we are teaching there and what we're going to ask you. So when you're, you know, your teacher here, see, I saw the institute here, they had lovely anatomy, uh, you know, specimens, they had good, uh, the kind of specimens they had, which uh, sometimes we feel they're so nicely made, silicon specimens of the pelvis and of the head. Mm -hmm. And it's so nice. I mean, they were trying to give you the best here also. It's not that they're not teaching you here. But what we are going to ask you there will be there on the app. So if you're away from us, use the app. When you're with us, do the live classes. Come and sit in the class. If you're in India, I think you have a better better chance. If you've done the app and then do the live class, then you're actually just as good as anybody else. But when you're away from us, please take uh, one of the apps. I would always talk about Preplata, but it can be any, any app. Uh, just as... Uh Small question about how was your childhood life uh, like? How was how was your college life like? Because this is it's very different from uh, what you've seen uh, us now studying in a different uh, country. And how was it like for you studying in college? A brief so experience. My college life uh, and my childhood, of course, I have an army of the son, and uh, I'm a proud army of the son. I was uh, a big sportsman when I was a I was a shooting champion uh, with uh, uh, for almost five years when I was there. But of course, life changed when I got into medicine. And uh, I played a lot of basketball then. I mean, I don't look like a basketball guy. <laughs> but then I played a lot of basketball. I pre represented my uh, my college for that when I was in Jipma. And uh, yes, uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, cultural work and we did a lot of stage work. We did a lot of uh, sports, but we read, um, read like crazy. So, I mean, it's a place which makes you read. I mean, the environment of reading which is there. I mean, I've been to many uh, colleges and all colleges obviously insist on reading. But that place, uh, you know, I felt that uh, the kind of exposure we had, you know, some people like me who was, you know, I was always into sports more than anything else. Uh, I would give me a chance and I would be playing football or I'd be doing basketball. I'll be doing something. But uh, the environment there, it makes everybody read. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm happy for my upbringing. I did my MBBS from JIPMA, my MD JIPMA. from JIPMA. And I had some of the best teachers in the world who taught me some of my best teachers uh, you know I can go on in enumerating names Dr. Asha Dr. Abhi Dr. Sandaragan who my teachers for gynecology Dr. Setu Raman who was my medicine teacher Dr. AK who was our uh, Anand Krishnan who was my surgery professor Dr. Smiles I mean endless number of all these stalwarts they were stalwarts in the country they were not just very good in Jipma they were absolute stalwarts so I learned from them so whenever I go I, I walk with the confidence that I at least I know my basics well so that's the kind of a bringing I had and of course CMC Velour uh, mm. was the icing PG, like? icing uh, mm. on the cake no I did my post graduation from Jipma but I did my IVF training from CMC, 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 Velour. CMC Velour so that was the icing on the cake and uh, that's what here I am I'm uh, trying to do whatever I can in my life uh, with IVF and with uh, endoscopic work and with obstetrics and of course having a great time teaching you guys yes, you're doing very well and we are very proud that you are in Orenburg State Medicity and you gave your very costly time to us uh, on that note I'll ask you one question which is very frequently asked to me by my uh, fellow subscribers fellow fellow students that at what uh, year shall we exactly start preparing for um, the examination as a foreign medical graduate because here there, there's a six years course you should spend first two three years understanding medicine there's no shortcuts to understanding medicine. If you don't know your medicine properly, you've not understood what is, uh, you know, sagittal and what is coronal, mm -hmm. and what's the difference between medial lateral and superior, uh, superior lateral. If you don't understand the basics, then you'll be running in circles all your life. So spend two, three years to understand medicine, why microbiology is important, why histology is important, mm -hmm. and why osteology is important, and why embryology is important. Understand the subjects get the feel of being a medical student once you get into that field you know i don't want you to get into medicine and first you start reading for pg entrance i mean you're going to miss the fun of reading and uh, facing the dejection of uh, not getting very good grades in the exam and then fighting with your own um, you know with your limitations that i can't read for more than an hour now you push it up to two hours and push it up to three hours get into the system of becoming a medical student
it'll take two three years to understand you know by the time you're third year you start understanding path you start understanding microbiology you start understanding your ophthalmology and you start using this um, you know this uh, effort which you put for three years you start understanding subjects and you start passing them much easier than you start uh, then then you pass your anatomy and your biochemistry so give yourself this time i think by the time you're doing your ent of thal that's the time when you start reading the other smaller subjects once and start reading your uh, ent of thal properly and start getting the system of reading the way we want you to read when you come to india so i don't say that you should do it in your first year third fourth year is the time when you start uh, when you are confident that i know how to read i understand the subject to be more precise what like uh, we have six years course as you uh, in in russia you have in, a, in russia we have six years course six years so course. So what you know the best time I feel when you should start reading for your MCA exam is the time when you are into grossly into your clinics big time into your clinics and that is I think the fourth year of the year because that's when you should start realizing you know when I was saying this class there were a lot of fifth years and sixth years but I was so happy there were some fourth years look this is not uh, the same as in India because India the course is called fourth year is the final year mm-hmm. so I would want the Indian students to understand that if you are trying to do your uh, PG entrance preparation then medicine surgery gynae when you start writing that start looking at the questions which are coming in the PG exam that's the time when you should be seeing your the pattern of questions which are coming in medicine surgery gynae so the fourth year in uh, india is a dr- time when they're doing medicine surgery and gynae mm-hmm. that's time and fourth year for you guys also because that's the time when you're good into your clinics and you have another two years to read here mm-hmm. so you already orient yourself to the exam which you're facing for the mci and uh, clearance that's why i'm a gynecologist a gynecologist is made of uh, tough stuff i can stand for 12 to 14 hours a day and i take a class and uh, i can do it for one one and a half months non stop which i am doing i can speak and i can stay at work for as long as the surgery demands and as many surgeries as demand so you know my 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 professor used to tell me dr asha used to tell me that hard work uh, never kills anybody nobody died of hard work mm-hmm. so i've kept it as a mantra in my life nobody dies of hard work so there's no limit to human possibilities and human abilities